So I'm on my way today to check out this small apartment complex. It's 22 units. And it's interesting because it's a mix of short and long-term rentals. And it's a great location. It's about 150 yards, maybe 200 yards away from the beach in Panama City Beach. And it's in a location that's past all the touristy stuff. There's no condos in this area. It's all, you know, the, the single family homes that families will rent and stuff like that during vacation time. So it, it'll cater more to those long-term tenants in an area of town that people want to be in, um, away from all the hustle and bustle and busyness when Panama City Beach gets packed with tourists. But it's still in that, in that realm. So I think it'll do really good with a mix of short-term rentals and long-term rentals. So I'm looking at it as there's 22 units putting maybe half of those as short-term rentals and the other half as long-term rentals. The only problem as it sits right now is the projected price. So the owner is just mom and pop owner, self-managing, has been for, for years. I think uh, they bought it in 2013, uh, maybe 2014. So about seven or eight years now, they've just been self-managing this place. And there's also a residential agent that has the listing. So because this isn't really a, a big investor, a big buyer, they don't really know the values and it's a residential agent. So I don't know if she knows how to price it, price it correctly or you know, nothing against her. She sells more of residential listings. So of course that's where her strength is going to be. So I think there's a, a chance to educate both of them, you know, in, in how to underwrite this property and what the true value is going to be. I think it's currently offered like a, a three cap um, with the pro forma. So we got to fix that, but it's an area I really like, um, property I like. It's not a big rehab or anything that's like that. It's a good looking property. So see what this thing looks like after we get in there. So we're walking through the property now. This is actually a short term rental. You can see the rest of the complex. This is a house with a studio and a main house in it. Like some of the other projects I've done. Um, there's some fourplexes on the property back here. There's some duplexes and then back right here behind me is the pool So this is gonna be a good selling point of the property right here If I can get the gate open <laughs> So both of these units One two are short-term rentals and they open up to the pool here. This is a shared pool Got a little outdoor space here Really good looking property. It's landscaped really nice the owner clearly takes care of it. So, so far so good. So this is my agent on this deal, Crystal. <laughs> Crystal, what do you think about it so far? Uh, well, you can see the ocean right there, so I love it. <laughs> She's pointing at this little gap, right? <laughs> right there between the houses. Yes, yeah, so that's good. Yep, from this uh, from this building right here, actually the, the back windows look perfectly over it. There's some palm trees back there that we might have to like cut away the palms, but maybe you can create some balconies because like beautiful view looking right over a single family, single story house that's right back there. So really good location. The idea with this property, like I was saying, is to convert some more of these units to short term rentals, keep some long term, half and half, uh, maybe 10 and 12, something like that, um, and really boost the net income or the gross income and the net income of this property and increase the value. So you got a, another duplex here, another fourplex walking by here. So there's 20, 22 total units, maybe 24. I think there's two vacant, so 24 in total. But um, that's the strategy. As I'm walking through, uh, there's a there's a good mix. You got these brick buildings and then the fourplexes with the balconies and stuff like that. Uh, but what I'm seeing is maybe a shortage of parking if it were, if it was were to be converted to all short-term rentals. So that'd be something I look at. Look at. I'm going through counting the spaces now, making sure there's enough. Um, right behind me, this is a nine-unit complex. This little U-shape right here. It's a nine-unit listed for 1.1. Uh, I actually looked at that deal with another buddy of mine, and he ended up backing out of that contract because it was just a little bit too slim. Those are long-term rentals as well. And he wanted to convert them to short-term rentals. And I looked, you know, since I had the experience, he asked me for my opinion on it. Showed him. <laughs> To in, back into the operation of it and what it would make. And that ended up not being enough and he backed out of that contract. So, so Cobra Pill is pretty good when you drive through here. Good looking property, quiet street. And then there's the beach right there. About 150 yards, so 
really good location. You're gonna have demand for long-term tenants because it's away from you know all the hustle and bustle of tourism. And then uh, the tourists themselves love staying in these areas. There's a public beach access staring right at it. So, so just saw the deal and got some good information. Uh, sounds like the listing agent is going through similar struggles that I've been going through getting information from her seller. So it seems to be the common denominator when you're dealing with these older sellers that are self-managing, you know, don't have all their financials in one place, <laughs> don't keep track of things that well. So I feel her pain there, but she's gonna give me the updated financials so I can rerun the numbers. And it looks like uh, from the information I was given that it, that it was 22 units, but after walking through and counting, it's actually 24. So that adds two units to my pro forma, which will help me you know, get to a better number and, and help actually make this deal work. And I'll add to the income. So, I like it after seeing it and it sounds like uh, from the agent as well that the seller is pretty reasonable. She's pretty number centric. So if I can uh, do my underwriting and show how I'm getting to my number based off, you know, what other things are trading in the market, I think we might be able to get into the realm of uh, getting to a better price. Back to the underwriting layer. So as you can see here, there's a big rent premium to jump those rents up by adding short-term rentals, but that's also gonna take a lot of work and take about a year, year and a half to get to that point to realize this number here, right there. Hey, so thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you learned something about, you know, these kind of properties, especially when you're mixing short term with long term rentals. That's a whole different strategy. The operation is completely different. I'll have to talk about that in a separate video. Um, that's what I'm working on setting up on my eight unit that's getting rehab right now. So a lot of moving parts with this deal. Uh, we're going to have to close that gap on the price somehow. But feeling good about it, I like the location and I know the area well. So if we can get all that sorted out and come to reasonable price, things will be a good, a good deal. So hit that like and subscribe button, see more about this, see if the deal works out, and I'll see you guys next time.